A tiny bug causing some uh, big problems all across the state. Gypsy moths are a growing concern. The caterpillars start devouring leaves and mm. leave nothing behind. So what do you do if you have these guys? News 8's Tina Natal has your back with tips on battling gypsy moths. The state says here along I-95 in Stonington, there is a total deforestation of groups of trees here along the highway. And we are told uh, that is the work of these gypsy moth caterpillars. The dry weather is being blamed for the infestation of these caterpillars and others. With little rain, the Mia Miaga fungus, which usually kills them off, didn't grow. So the gypsy moth population did. It's actually been the last two years around this time because they, they hatch out and they come out mm -hmm. and more and more every year it just gets more and more people. Michelle Wells works at Agway in Plainfield and says Tanglefoot, which is put on this tape, is now on back order because so many people are looking for it to keep the caterpillars from climbing up their trees. You put this on and it's a sticky goo yellow stuff. You wrap the tree about halfway up put this tangle foot on it and they can't go above. Double-sided tape can also be used to stop the caterpillars in their tracks. If it's a really bad infestation, this is the more economical way to go. More economical and organic. Captain Jack's dead bug brew may be the way to go for those who like to keep it all natural. There are also other chemicals which get rid of the tree-eating insects. You can hook it to a hose. Again, gypsy moth does all types of caterpillars and it's an eight-week control. Whichever method you choose can be used before or after you see damage. The caterpillars are there and you just want to saturate that whole thing. And on the labels, it's going to tell you how, how much to spray, how to use it, how to mix it. What many see as good news now is that because of last week's rain, which spurred the growth of that fungus, many of the caterpillars which have been eating these trees are now dead. In Stonington, Tina Detell, News 8.